Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a purple makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm going to call it how to slay purple eyeshadow. I think that's what I'm going to call it. This video is in collaboration with Skin Face Beauty. Um, she will be posting a makeup look, a similar kind of purpley tone makeup look on her Instagram. So I'll link her Instagram in the info box. I love you so much. And we always plan these little collabs so... Um, yeah, we thought let's do like a joint purple look. So obviously P doesn't have a YouTube channel But she has an Instagram so make sure to head over there and give her a little like tell her that I sent you guys This was supposed to be kind of like an Indian look But I don't have any like purple or lilac or anything related to this look in terms of like saris and stuff So I thought let me just dress up casually if you want to wear it for an Indian look You can totally do that, but I thought let me just do like a normal video today but yeah I'm going to stop rambling I keep talking all the time don't forget to check out P's post I'll link it in the info box and we'll jump straight into it so the first thing that I'm going to do is my brows I already I always start with my brows first and I'm going to use the L'Oreal brow artist expert in ebony and then I'm going to go in with my brow artist plumper in medium dark I've really been loving these brow products But at the moment, like this brow has been causing me so much trouble. What I do, I just messily fill it in and then I go in with some concealer and clean it up. So I'm going to go with my brow artist plumper quickly. Just set those brow hairs in place. Oh my god, there's a massive fly. This is literally on my camera stand. Okay, my brows are very messy right now, but that's okay. I'm going to go with my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealing Golden. So I guess those are my brows done. I would say that's okay for now. Okay, so next on to... I think I want to... Actually, I think I'm going to do my eyes first. So to prime my lids, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand on the top. Why? Why when I'm just filming? To set that in place, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 250. So firstly, as my transition colour, I'm going to be using this NYX Single Eyeshadow in Electroshock. And then next, I'm going to use this colour from NYX again. It's Ultraviolet. Then I'm going to use this NYX eyeshadow. This is the Prismatic eyeshadow in Volatile. I'm going to grab a flat brush, just dunk it in there. Oh, they're actually really soft. I'm going to wet it with some setting spray. I'm creating a slight cut crease. Because the, eye, the eyeshadow brush is wet. And again on the other eye. I have my little palette of Bobbi Brown eyeshadows and I really like their sparkles. And I'm just going to grab this shade right here. This is Sunlight. I'm just going to get that on a little tiny brush. And again wet it. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. I don't know why, but I feel like the camera's not pick picking up the colours nicely. 
Onto my face, I'm going to use um, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This was kindly sent to me, um, and I'm just going to try this for the first time. It does feel quite smoothing, but I've actually been using other smoothing products lately. What I like about this one is that it smells so nice, and it almost feels like a moisturiser. It's not that silicone-y as a feeling. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y445. I have been loving this foundation. You guys know that the stick is like one of my go-tos. The only thing I have realised about this one is that you do need to use a bit more product than a normal liquid foundation. So literally, I haven't washed my brushes in like forever and I know I keep putting it off but I like I'm getting little bumpy spots on my face so just comes to show how important it is to wash your brushes but I'm digging this eyeshadow right now. I think it's time for me to throw this one away. And now I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again. go use your other side of the sponge just to like clean up the edges so it's not like a harsh line then to quickly set my under eyes I'm going to use the makeup forever ultra HD micro finishing loose powder this is my first time I'm using this it's quite white but we'll see That is very soft, like, it feels like almost nothing. It does have that, like, smoothing effect as well. Oh god, that feels so soft. I am also quickly going to go in with my Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner by The Balm. This is what it looks like and his eyeliner is super black. For bronze I'm going to use my Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette in Medium Dark Shift. And I'm going to grab the powder shade, this one. Bam! In your face contour! That is so good! Then for mascara I'm going to quickly use some of my NYX double stacked mascara with just the black mascara. Oh that's drying, I can't speak today. I'm going to use a MAC blush if I can open it. I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Blush in Gentle. And for highlighter, I'm going to use my stunning, stunning, stunning highlighter for Makeup Forever. I feel like I'm struggling to open products today. Um, I'm going to use the Pro Light Fusion in number two.
Then I'm going to use my Gerald Cosmetics setting spray in coconut. Just drench your face in this. While that's drying, I'm going to take some of my um, ultraviolet colour from NYX and just place that on my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to go in with some more mascara. Today's eyelashes are going to be the Ilo Most Wanted Eyelashes in Gimme Gimme. I'm also going to take some of my Makeup Forever highlighter and just place that in my inner corner. But actually I might wet it. It looks like a star. <laughs> I love a good inner corner highlight. Look at the difference. I'm just going to quickly go in with some liquid line on the top. So finally I'm going to go in with some of my Lime Crime Shroom. And then finally I'm going to go in with my NYX Cosmic Metals in Retro Harmony.